So at Century Co Boat Show 2022, Maritima has three new global launches here at the show. Uh, so we have the M60 Flybridge motor yacht, which we're, we're here on right now. Uh, and then we have the M600 Offshore motor yacht and the S600 Offshore motor yacht. So um, three fantastic models. They're all 60 foot models, uh, but all cater to someone you know, very different, a very different buyer in each, each market. So um, very excited for anywhere, anywhere in the world to be able to, to get on these boats for the first time here at Century Cove this weekend. M60 Flybridge motor yacht was a, a very important motor yacht to Maritimo and uh, to its founder, uh, Bill Barry Cotter. So uh, the Maritimo 60 was the, the first ever Maritimo. So um, you know, we wanted to make sure when we came out with this M60 Flybridge motor yacht that, uh, that we got it right. So we spent a lot of time in the design development, uh, ensuring that uh, you know, we made sure this boat was gonna be a great performing boat uh, and ensure that all of its features you know, just really hit the mark as that first original Maritimo 60 did uh, back in the day. So the real key series that we have, we have the Offshore series, the S series and the M series. Really the main features are the M series flybridge motor yachts are, are an enclosed flybridge motor yacht with internal staircase. Our S series motor yachts are a sedan motor yacht and our offshore range is really for that offshore versatility in its cockpit shape and which we are in within those we have the sedan and flybridge models in the offshore range. So those are really the key defining distinguishing features uh, of those series. So Maritimo's always been very heavily focused on simple engineering um, that's very durable, very dependable uh, and reliable. So, and not only that, um, by keeping it simple, it makes it a lot easier for the user. Uh, but then you've got to keep in mind, being a long range motor yacht, our owners are always far away from their home port, from um, you know, their familiar service people. Um, so they've got to be able to be systems that can be understood by anyone. So it's pointless to have um, you know, a system in the boat that uh, you know, if you're far away at a far away destination and you need that support like right there where you are, that no one in that area has a clue with the technology that you've got working on the boat. So everything is, is very easy to understand, very simple, and then very durable. So you, you're far likely, like, less likely to have any sort of issues with the, the technology because it is just so simple and uh, dependable. These new hull designs, uh, they're an evolution of our, our hull form that we've uh, had. You know, we just keep evolving our, our hull forms and making those tinier increments each time to, to improve um, the offshore performance, the efficiency. So all of that comes again from a, that straight shaft, um, low shaft angle, um, which gets us our efficiency and that, and that performance. And then we have um, the hull structure and integrity, the way it's laid up, as well as its entry and uh, the way all the chines work in, in unison um, to give you that dry, soft ride. Um, but then it's the way we do, we have a world pattern on our hull structure and our hull liners. So um, it's basically a monocoque construction. So we have a, a world pattern on the way we bond our structural liners into our hull. Uh, and then we do that same uh, process with all of our decks and deck liners, our hardtops and hardtop liners, flybridge and flybridge liners. So the whole boat is tied together in a monocoque form. Another key advantage of that as well is that um, we have a completely um, solid fiberglass liner structure that's in there. So there's no core that can delaminate or rot or anything like that. So all of the, everything below waterline and all of those structures uh, are all solid, uh, which are, are again, headache free. Yeah, the market the last few years has been incredibly buoyant. And if you combine that with um, what we've done uh, with our new product development and, uh, and how we've hit the market, um, yeah, we're just seeing you know unprecedented demand at Maritimo, and uh, you know so we you know have grown um, our production 25% in the last couple of years. Um, we're projected in our forecast on our schedule on our build schedule and orders to, to grow another 25% year on year for the next three years. So um, we are building the company, we are building the team. We're not just building uh, with anyone, we're finding the right people. So we're doing this in a very cautious approach to ensure that um, you know, our standards are met and our expectations of our customers uh, you know, are always met. You know, we're always um, looking uh, for where we go next and um, you know, we have a lot of concepts 
uh, you know, in the drawer, on the board, on the drawing board. Um, so there's there's many ways in which we can go. So um, it's an interesting time in the market now to, to be able to having launched all these new models with the new 75s uh, on the way. Um, so it's uh, it's interesting that we can we can sort of reflect and look uh, to where we're going to go now and, and make our our next new model uh, really hit the mark as well. Maritimo Racing certainly interjects itself uh, into the company's culture and then there's also technology projects that we're working on uh, you know, in the background as well. So there'll be anything from um, uh, composite you know, way we, we, we lay up our laminates uh, that we're testing, um, our power steering systems were developed through, through racing. So there's, there's other technologies there that we can uh, work on concepts with and, uh, and sort of you know, test bed and, and prove them uh, before we get into, uh, into production. But uh, so yeah, it's always exciting there and there's always something happening in, happening in Maritimo Racing.